We're being asked to find the limit as x, y approaches 0, 0 of this multivariable function here. So solution. Recall that when you have limits in more than one variable, it's a little bit different um, than in a single variable. In the single variable case, if you're approaching 2, um, the limit has to exist if you approach 2 from the left, and it has to exist if you approach 2 from the right. However, in this case, this is a point in the xy plane, so it has to exist no matter which direction we approach it from. So that makes it harder, but at the same time, it gives us more flexibility. Okay, in this problem, the first thing you should always do in every single limit is plug in the numbers and see what happens. So if we plug in 0 for x and for y, we end up with the unfortunate case of 0 over 0. So that does not work. So what we'll do is we'll try to see if this limit actually even exists. So what we'll do is we'll set y equal to 0. In other words, we're approaching from the x-axis along the line y equals 0. So then we can rewrite our limit as follows. We can write this as x, and then we set y equal to 0. So there's 0, and this is approaching 0, 0. And we're literally just replacing all of the y's with zeros. So this is 0 over x squared plus 0. So this is the limit as x approaches 0. And again, y is already set to 0 and of 0. And so this is equal to 0. Does that mean that the answer is 0? No, it certainly does not. Right? We have to get the same answer no matter what direction we approach from. So now let's try setting x equal to 0 and see if we get the same result. If we get a different result, then we know that the limit does not exist. So approaching 0, 0. And now we're setting x equal to 0. So we literally just replace x with 0. So we have y squared over 0 plus y squared. So this is the limit as 0y approaches 0, 0. So this is y squared over y squared. This cancels, so we have the limit as 0y approaches 0, 0 of 1. And so we get 1. So setting y equal to 0, we get 0. Setting x equal to 0, we get 1. So therefore, the limit does not exist. And by the way, when we set y equal to 0, that means we're really approaching along the x-axis, right? And when we set x equal to 0, that means we're approaching along the y-axis. So let's use a different color for clarity. In this case, we're coming from this direction these directions. And in this case, we're coming down these lines. I hope that made sense.